Aerosols are dispersions of particles in the gas phase. They have a much bigger impact on our everyday lives than you might at first expect. They're a significant component of the atmosphere, with clouds and aerosols having an impact both on climate and on air quality. They can carry disease through the air when we cough and when we sneeze. They're used in the manufacture of functional particles and materials. They're used to treat diseases such as asthma through the delivery of drugs to the lungs using inhalers. And we use them in everyday personal care products and in our agriculture. In the CDT, we've brought together a consortium of around 50 academics from our seven partner universities and 50 industrial and public sector partners. Our aim is to train the next generation of scientists who will be able to tackle the global challenges involving aerosols. For the first seven months of their PhDs, students train as a cohort at the CDT Hub in Bristol. This is a really exciting time, bringing together students from very different undergraduate backgrounds. They receive training in the core topics in aerosol science, in research methods such as programming skills, and in professionalism and knowledge translation. For example, what does it mean to innovate and research responsibly? So our training is delivered using teaching approaches which have been validated by educational research, so for example team-based learning. Our students have access to an online training portal where they can watch many lectures and solve multiple choice problems before attending our in-class training. Once in class, the students tackle more complex research problems which are underpinned by the science that they have learnt and here they can really benefit from their diverse backgrounds. Our students find that this is a really exciting way to learn and our instructors find it's a really exciting way to teach as well. So I always knew I wanted to do a PhD and I saw on the CDT's website that they had two projects that caught my eye. And then I also saw that they provided further aerosol science units which would benefit my research in, in those fields. So throughout my education I, I really enjoyed working with other people on problems, uh, which is the, the basis of the team-based learning activities that we do at the CDT. Uh, the CDT also provides professionalism training throughout the course, uh, which gives you a good idea of where your project will lie in the wider world uh, and gives you a better understanding of the interplay between academia and industry. My area of atmospheric aerosol research is looking at photochemical reactions that go on within climate relevant aerosols such as sodium nitrate which is a photoactive compound that is produced from sea spray. What excites me about aerosol science is being at the forefront of understanding climate change. It's really important for me, whether I'm in science or in quality, diversity, inclusion work, to have a passion for what I do. And that is what this group has instilled in me. 